First of all, I am sick right now, and second of all, my hair looks like a mess, but we're gonna work with it. Hey guys, it's Jenna. So today, I'm gonna be filming a very exciting video, and it is my iPhone X review slash unboxing. I've had it for actually almost a week now, or over a week now. So I'm gonna be going more in depth on what I like and what I don't like, pros and cons, all that good stuff. So first, I'm just gonna be taking that off. I actually put the iPhone back in here, so it makes it look like an unboxing video, so yeah. And I actually did not take any of the headphone stuff or the adapter, stuff like that. I only took out the charger because I needed a new charger because my last one broke. Also, a little life hack for you guys, if your battery is always dying, it's probably because you use a knockoff charger or if your phone just has a glitch, like I know my friend, my friend's phone has a really bad glitch. But the knockoff chargers actually ruin the battery, so I needed to start using the regular Apple chargers so I don't ruin the battery. So when I first unboxed this, I actually thought the headphones were going to be ear AirPods, 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 and they were not, but they kind of look like it. I don't even know if you can see, but yeah, I thought they were going to be AirPods. So when you want to turn on your phone, all you do is either click the power button or you can just tap on the screen and it'll come up. And I actually did set up the face ID, so either you can swipe up to put in your passcode or if it says face ID and then I just put it on and then ba bam it's unlocked so when I was at the store to get my phone I actually was wondering how you take screenshots and stuff like that I'm gonna go through and show you guys all the cool stuff you can do with it so first I'm gonna swipe up and gonna do the face ID and then hold on and also it has the double camera on the back hold on, I'm gonna like put this in focus and show you guys so I did get it in space gray so and it's a little smudgy from my fingerprints just ignore that but then you have the actual screen itself and then if you want to go to your control center all you do is take from this corner and pull down and then you have all your stuff that you can play music have Bluetooth all that good stuff do not disturb and then to get out of it, all you have to do is swipe up and then pull from the other corner for your notifications. So then if you want to go into an app, all you do, like say we'll go into Instagram. This is my Instagram. If you guys want to go follow me, always plug. To get out of the app, all you do is swipe up. And then if you want to go to a different app, all you do is swipe up and then pull over. And then you can also, if you want to close out of the apps, all you do is press and hold. And then it'll show a little minus sign and then you just swipe up. Okay, so I'm hoping I'm in focus right now, but I do want to show you guys a few of the features with the camera now. And the camera is what I absolutely am in love with. It has the dual camera, so that quality is going to be good. I will insert a picture that I actually took on the iPhone in which I posted on my Instagram, so it's just going to be on the screen somewhere. I feel like this video is going to be all over the place, but I just want to kind of go through and show you guys a lot of the features and all that good stuff with the iPhone X. Also on the iPhone X, there is a portrait mode and then you can choose different studio lightings which I'm probably going to be using a lot for all my selfies and all that good stuff. So with the portrait mode, it actually blurs the background and puts you more in focus. And then also if you're vlogging or taking a video or something like that, you can also put it in portrait mode and then it changes the lights so it makes the lighting look awesome. Also, I'm going to be starting to vlog pretty soon so we'll see how that goes and see if they turn out good and if they do, then I'll keep vlogging. So another cool feature with the iPhone X is that you can do the face ID scan thing. So instead of having the thumbprint, which I actually kind of miss on the iPhone 6. I, also, I went from the iPhone 6S to the iPhone X. That is what I kind of just switched through. And my update is actually in July, but I mean, I just cannot wait. And I also want to start vlogging and taking videos and pictures on my, on my phone. And on the iPhone 6S, I still got pretty good quality, but it's not the quality that I was looking for. You know, always got to have that high quality. So I'm actually going to go through and show you guys how to do the face ID scan. So all you got to do is go into settings, then scroll down to face ID and passcode. And I actually already set this up as you guys saw earlier, but I'm going to redo it and show you guys what uh, exactly you do. It says how to set up face ID. First position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face and then get started. First ID scan complete. Second face ID complete. Face ID is now set up. So now I'm going to come up to the camera and show you guys when I do this and see how it works. And well, bam. And then you still have to swipe up to go to into the phone. So we're going to try it again just to test it out. So all you got to do is tap. And well, bam, it's open. 
quality of this phone is so good and the hype is still going on about the iPhone X. If you're an iPhone lover or a phone lover and all that good stuff, if you're always on the phone, I really think the iPhone X is worth it. It's a little pricey, I know, but for someone like me who is almost always on their phone and always doing stuff with their phone, I think it was worth it and a good investment, you feel? The iPhone X definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. There could be a few things that they could update and then make better. I mean, there's always room for improvement with the iPhones. But I'll probably have this for two or more years. I probably won't get an iPhone unless, like, I don't know, just, like, it breaks or whatever. So my other SD card was being dumb, so I just had to switch the two SD cards. So we're back. If you guys have the chance to get your hands on an iPhone X, go for it. Why not? You're going to love it. And again, I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. I just want to kind of go through, show you guys my thoughts and stuff like that on the iPhone X. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the iPhone X. And also, comment down below what kind of phone you guys have. I'm curious. I just want to see if any of you guys have the iPhone X or if you guys even have an iPhone yourself. All my social medias will be linked in the description if you guys want to go check any of them out or follow your girl. Why not? Anyways, I hope y'all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. So, bye. Peace. I really hope this video turned out okay.